Today we're going to put Optimus Prime under the microscope. What's up Epic Collectors? Welcome to another episode of Under the Microscope. Today we're going to put Transformers Optimus Prime Rise of the Beast movie by Robo Sen under the scrutiny of our macro lens and we're going to see all the details of this marvelous figure. If you haven't seen my unboxing video, you can go ahead and watch that at the end of this video. And let's start to check this amazing figure out from head to toe. Let's see how we can focus on the detail. As you can see, it's alive and moving. I'm going to try to focus as much as possible. First, we're going to check on the mask, which is looking very detailed. And the glowing eyes looking straight at you. And you can see there's a bit of weathering on the helmet. And some more details. I don't think the movements of this figure is helping with the camera focus so I think I'm gonna have to shut down. Optimus Prime shut down okay now he is shut down so we're gonna try that again, but without the lights this time. Okay, let's get closer. Now you can see, now don't get it wrong. This is a brand new figure, but you can see that there's a lot of scratches on his mask. And that is done on purpose to give that battle damaged look on the figure you can see on the helmet some gray paint dry brush and down on his neck you can see all those rusting all those weathering and scratches on his chest. And this actually opens up, the chest opens up to reveal the matrix of leadership, which we're going to focus right now. You can see there's a lot of Details in there. I'm not actually sure whether this one lights up when it's powered on, but let's see. I can power it on. Oh, where's that power button? There you go. Let's try it again. Okay, it's lighting up right now. Oh, wow. Greetings, friend. I am Optimus Prime. There you go. So, look on the head again. And on the chest with the matrix of leadership. Now, you can see there's a bit of difference in color. You can see a red. Although... I'm not sure if it's just a camera effect because looking at it directly I don't see any lights on this too small uh, lights on the side of the matrix of leadership I'm not sure if that's done on purpose but let me know in the comments if you have this figure or is this something that I need to complain or report to Robosen. Greetings. 
Okay, so if you say Optimus Prime, Greetings. or Robosen, Greetings. he responds. Okay, so I'm just gonna shut him down again. Optimus Prime, Greetings. shut down. You will never see Unicron take this world. Okay, so now he's shut down again. So let's go back to the details of the, the matrix of leadership. You can see there's a lot of detail. And, you know, wiring. But like I said, unfortunately, this one is not a removable matrix of leadership. And we can see the Autobot logo in there. And going down to the abdomen, you can see the details. And the weathering on the legs and down to the knees to the shin and to the foot so they've done a lot of uh, silver paint dry brush as well as the tires or the wheels Although there's a bit of sloppiness because it's bleeding out to the rubber tires. All right, let's, let's see on the other side. Let's turn it on the side a little bit so we can see. You can see the detail there. They tried to make it look like it's metallic, which they have achieved, I believe. You can see a bit of like brown coloring to give that rust effect on the foot as well as this one. And we go back up to the hands and the arms. They have really done there. Work really nice in here. And try on this side. Let's see some more. There's an opt the Autobot logo. Just that the spring. And some of the engine parts. Uh, let's look at the top. That is the detail we can see. And the lights. Not much in there. And the smokestack. There's a bit of like weathering, like a black smoke effect. It's like burnt or something. Now this elbow. And going back to the head, the neck part. See the detail on the back and the spine. You can really see that. It looks very metallic. So nice work, Robosen, for the paint job. And down to the back of the knee and to the ankle. Okay. Now one last look in the front. I'm gonna turn him back on. Okay. All right. 
So that, my friends, is Optimus Prime Rise of the Beasts by RoboSim. So as you can see, this one is an interactive robot which you can command with your voice as well as an included app that you can install on your phone. So if you haven't seen my other videos, you can watch them. We have Bumblebee, Robos and Bumblebee. As well as the G1 Optimus Prime, which doesn't want to stand up properly right now. Maybe need to power it back on. I am the leader of the Autobots. Whoa. All right. Sorry about that. Okay, as you can see it's much bigger, G1 version is much bigger. Anyway, just I'm going to make another video to uh, show you the functions and the other features you can uh, do or use with this Optimus Prime. <laughs> All right, so thank you again for watching. And hiya, friend. Oh, here. <laughs> okay, so we've got Bumblebee. How's it going? And Optimus Prime by Robosyn and they do have other products like the Grimlock one which I don't have yet but the Elite of the G1 and they also have a Buzz Light here but this is not actually the one Grimlock all right, enough of that. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Hasta la vista, baby.